Welcome to the channel and welcome to another Minecraft video. In this tutorial, we're going to be building the Big Light Panzer 57. The English translation there is Escort Tank 57. This vehicle was a project of the companies Tyson Heitchell and Bofors. Only a single prototype was built. In the mid 1970s, the two existing companies began without government government mandate with the development of an infantry escort tank, as they believed to have discovered the gap in a light fire support platform. The vehicle was first introduced in no November 1977. However, due to lack of interest from potential buyers, the vehicle was not purchased or pursued. Now some history out of the way, let's see what the build looks like. Hull, exact same thing as the TAM, not even kidding, so, um, cause, um, uh, I'll see, yeah, I'm because I'm lazy. I'm just going to use uh, the footage one to three layers of the TAM tutorial and just put it right in to this video. And we'll stop about layer four because that's when things take a big turn. Because this thing has a 105 millimeter, this thing has a 57 millimeter auto cannon, and can't forget about the pretty oversized tow missile. But I gotta make it oversized because that just looks cool. Anyway, um. Uh, Let's start building. Or big light pains are <laughs> depending on which video you're watching, so but for whatever we're doing, first we place down one placer block, and behind it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine spruce trap doors. Oops, and now of course, one more to each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Going off of this trapdoor, I'm going to place one green terracotta to the side as a placer block, place one nether brick up slab in front of it, and in the place of placer block, put down a nether brick slab. Now we're going to be doing something a little bit different for the wheels. This is what I actually used to do, so I'm going to place down one green terracotta behind this nether brick slab, and actually we're going to do the stuff on the wheels later. So, nether brick slab, green terracotta, nether brick slab. Green terracotta, nether brick slab, green, green terracotta, and one more green terracotta as a place block to place the nether brick up slab and in the place, just like before, a nether brick slab. Now on every single green terracotta block, we're place down one button. I think I'm going to also be doing the buttons for future videos because uh, if you go f uh, farther away from the vehicles, the item frames will disappear and then you won't have anything to on the hubs. But if you put buttons down, It'll still look like wheels from even far away, even if you can't see the item frames. So, and you can barely see the buttons to begin with if you put item frame and a green terracotta inside them. So, you can barely see the button anyway. So, I think that's pretty cool. Now, that'll finish off, uh, I think, yep, our first layer. We can start on layer two. To begin our second layer, we're going to go into sneak mode right here and place down a green terracotta block on the First most and middle spruce trapdoor. Once you got that place down, we're going to place down one more. Oh, one. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight green terracotta going all the way to the back. And one more row, so you should have a row of however many that was on top of your row of trapdoors. Now, next, we're going to take a spruce stair. Place one upside down right. In, uh, whoops! Place one upside down right in the middle, and add a quarter stair to each side on the front. And in the back, to the left and right side, we're going to add an upside down stair, and also a spruce slab with a side. So once you got that done, we can move on to the tracks, which are pretty simple. To begin, we're going to place down one green terracotta going off of the first one on the side. And we're going to take a. We're going to need this. And that should be it, actually. And we also need a dark oak slab as well. A few of those. So now we're going to place a nether brick stair right on top of this slab and surround it on all sides with spruce signs. 
Now on this wheel right here, on the TAM, it's uh, the first wheel is actually kind of covered up by a uh, side skirt, so we're just going to place a sign down on it and a item frame. Behind this wheel, we're going to place down a nether brick slab, dark oak slab. Actually, wait, no, that's not a slab, that's a stair, I forgot. For the top wheels. We're gonna, once you got that nether brick slab placed down, we're going to place a stair just like so. Then a nether brick slab. Dark oak stair. Nether brick top slab. And dark oak stair. And finish it off. One nether brick stair. Whoops, and one nether brick top slab. Now one and two more. Green and green terracotta, just like before. An item frame, covered up by a sign. And another sign right here. Now on the back of this green terracotta, we're going to place down a spruce trap door, flip it upwards, as well as a item frame. And inside of it, we're going to place down a red stained glass. Just like so. And now if you want to do the uh, driver's kind of area, we're going to need to replace a green terracotta with a slab, so that'll be just above the second wheel, only on the right side. So I'll just break this block right here, and place down a spruce slab right on top of it. I don't think anyone's going to notice that, but if they do, they got good eyes. So now we, now we can move on to the third layer. To begin our third layer, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three spruce trapdoors on top of this um, previous row of three spruce stairs. Then to the side, a green carpet. Now to add the headlights, I'm going to go into sneak mode, place item frame, both left and right trapdoors, and fill it in with white stained glass, whatever kind of guys, what kind of item you guys want to be the headlights. And now behind the row of three trapdoors, I'm just going to place a row of three spruce slabs, and to either side, a trapdoor. Sorry, my mouse scrolling thing can't isn't isn't really working well so can't pick an item very fast and to the do the side collapsed inside mirrors we're going to take a wither skeleton skull and try and place it uh, i think off of the side of the stair i mean uh, side of the sign right here there we go try and get it at a 45 degree angle now try and get it also with the face turned inward so you don't see it like so there we go to continue, we're going to place down a row of three spruce stairs, and to either side, a spruce slab. Now to fill in the body, we're going to do a row of three green terracotta on the row of three stairs. And we're just going to fill in every square except for this one right here, for the driver's area. So just do one block. There we go. And at the rear, place down row of three buttons. Now we can do the side. So first, is it a yes? It is okay. First, we're going to place a stair like so. Another stair to the side. So this one turned into a quarter stair. Whoa! Uh, thumbs up. Okay. Nope. Forget that. No quarter stair. Just stairs all the way down for the sloped armor. Actually, this, this one should be a quarter stair. Okay. That's what I was missing. So. And to do a little bit of side detailing, we're going to place down a sign right here for a spare track holder and skip two blocks for some tool. Actually, how uh, far is it? Okay. Place down two item frames, two blocks away from the sign, and in it you can put any kinds of tools you guys want. So I decided to go with an iron shovel and an iron pickaxe. So let me get that in my inventory real quick. There we go. There we go. And same on this side, since we're that it does not copy um, item frames for some reason. And try and get them facing, again, same mirror direction. There we go. And now moving on to the back. We're going to place down a spruce sign off this rear quarter stair. 
and also an item frame holding a rich stained glass block like so that finish off, finishes off layer three all right to begin our fourth layer which is going which is where it's going to deviate from the tam we're going to make a few little changes first we're going to start on this block go back one i'm sorry counting this block one two three and we're going to break these two green terracotta and replace uh, these blocks with some spruce trapdoors on the bottom. We're going to pl uh, place down the driver's uh, hatch, so we're just going to place down one place block behind it, and a spruce trapdoor right there. So, whoops, so it can open up like that. Now we're actually going to skip to the rear of the tank, just because it's a bit simpler, <laughs> this step. We're going to place a row of three green carpets uh, on the second to last row and a row of three spruce trapdoors on the last row of green concrete. Now we're going to place the gun down, we're going to go into sneak mode. So ignore the thing I'm standing on, I'm going to build that in just a bit. We're going to place down two anvils on top of this uh, hole, I guess, in front of them. We're going to place down one green terracotta, one spruce slab, two spruce slab, about a sign on either side of the first one. And then we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and come on, four spruce gates, fence gates, that is. And we're also going to take a wither skeleton skull for the flash suppressor. Place it like that. And then we're going to do some of the turret siding. So I think we're all, oh, one more thing. I got rid of my item frame a bit prematurely, so we're going to need an item frame and a just any black block. So we're going to go behind this first anvil, place down an item frame, and black wool for the casing injection port. Now facing from the front to the left side, we're going to place down one stair, facing towards the anvil, in front of it, one spruce slab, and in front of it, one spruce trapdoor so it'll line up with this green concrete block. On the right side, we're going to place down one green terracotta on the second anvil, a stair facing the block either direction, and to give it a bit more volume, we're just going to place down a trapdoor and flip it upwards. That'll do it for layer four, and we can continue to layer five. To finish the bay light pens are up, we're going to place down one spruce trapdoor on top of this green concrete block, and in front of it, one green carpet. Now to this commander side, I'm going to place down one spruce slab, and put a sign right in front of it. Now for the tow missile, we're just going to take one green terracotta. I'm going to need a few things here. For one, a cobblestone wall, a mossy one. Some signs, and item frame. That should be it. So place down a mossy cobblestone wall on either side, item frame on either side, and just put down signs on either side. And there we go. I believe that'll finish off the entire Big Lake Panzer 57 Armored Infantry Fire Support Vehicle. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time. Give me the best.